Hi there. In this video, I'm going to cover uh, widgets and sidebars. Now, in uh, past videos, I've uh, shown you a lot of the widget panels, so some of this may be a bit of a repeat, but I wanted a dedicated video to it. So here's another site. This is, I haven't introduced this site yet to you in the video series, and it's another local real estate um, business website that I built. This is a very, very simple theme. I, I took a page and I made it the home page, and it has one sidebar. Now, here's the thing with sidebars. Some themes will have one, some themes will offer two, which would be a three column, and that's going to depend on the theme, so that's what you want to watch out for. Now, with respect to widget zones, you're going to have some themes that are going to offer, uh, like this, a Studio Press theme, lots of widget zones, uh, including, especially on the home page. But if you go on uh, this, it, when you go to a Studio Press internal page, a non home page, typically going to be able to choose a, uh, this is another nice feature about Studio Press. I don't mean to be hyping them, I just use them a lot because of these features, but you have a, um, a right, um, well you can have options for two uh, columns, which is one sidebar, or three columns, which would be a sidebar here and a sidebar there, or two right and so forth, basically you have multiple layouts to choose from. Not every theme will offer that, some are very, very simple themes, like this theme here, this is simple, I don't have a choice, I get the sidebar, it's a really simple layout and we will go into the widget area to see where look at that one widget zone compare that to this site with we've got a primary we've got a secondary we've got home pages we've got footers so you know these th when you're looking for a theme if that's where you're at you want to check these things out to sort of get an idea how much flexibility you have one isn't necessarily better than the other if you just need a very very simple website this can do the trick for you. No need to overcomplicate it. But if you want something with more flexibility and just with a more design options, then you may want to go with something more like this. Now the other uh, option is, is we're going to come back to this site because this is a, a, one of these themes that has its own uh, built-in theme options where you can put a lot of uh, content. Now this generally will, this theme has no sidebar on the home page unless I made a specific page and created that as the home page, which I cover in the home pages video. Uh, but there is there are sidebars, and we go under, again, our, uh, sorry, widgets, appearance widgets, and we do have sidebars. We have a secondary widget area, we have a footer, and then we have a primary widget area. So it looks like this theme, I haven't used this theme to create a, th to see what the secondary widget area does. Uh, you're going to play around with that. So like I said, some themes are going to offer two sidebars, some are going to offer one, um, and I haven't found a theme that doesn't offer any sidebar. That, that would be kind of weird. It's, anyway, so that's how you're going to set up your sidebar. Now, in terms of putting content in a sidebar, that you know, these are widget zones. You put anything in here. You put recent comments. You could put category menus, custom menus, calendar archives. And you can, if you want other features, this is this is the greatest tip. Let's say you come up with something. You want to, uh, well, to demonstrate. Let's say you want to uh, add a map to your local business website. You know, I have, I'm going to have a map video, so I'll show you that, and I'll show you how to do it for free. But, you know, just, this is how I find plugins. You just so, uh, WordPress plugin for adding Google Maps. Just ask Google and watch. Look at that. There we go. Here, here, this is the one I use, MapPress Easy Google. It's the first one that came up. It's there. And boom. Now, in the plugins video, I showed you how to add... Uh, plugins, so I'm not going to go through that, but you know, really, and what that can do is, is you can then add a map to your to your sidebar if you want. You want to add a video, to grab a YouTube embed video, uh, the code from YouTube, and bang, put it in a text widget, and you're done. So you can really, really dress up your sidebars. I think this sidebar looks pretty good. I got my social uh, buttons there. I got a video. I've got more articles. I could do a lot more here if I wanted. Uh, so really the sky is the limit and you can create different menus for your sidebar so you can create like a batch of menus for one type of article and then you can maybe list blog categories it really you know the, the, the options are really unlimited with how you dress up your sidebar uh, so really that's uh, about it for the sidebars and, and your widget zones it pretty do work together I mean your widgets are going to be in your sidebars um, so not very complicated. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play with. You know, you can get really bogged down, really trying to spend a lot of time adding stuff to here. But when you do go to look for a theme, you want to find out, you know, how many different layouts they have. So, like, you know, yeah, I should I should just briefly cover that because look at this. This is my Studio Press again. 
I'm going to add a new page. And what I can do is I can dictate. And SeroPress isn't the only theme that does this. Quite a few themes offer this feature, so I'm just using these. I do different layouts. You see that I can do it. I can do a two right column. I can do two left column. Uh, a three column. The content in the center, full width. So, or just the one column. And so you have these options with some themes. And if that's what you want, you want to specifically look for that with a the theme. There's there's quite a few out there. Um, that's that's really about it for. Uh, widgets and sidebars. It just takes uh, tinkering around, playing with it, learning what's available, and trust me, if there's a feature you want for your WordPress website, just Google it and chances are somebody's made a plugin. Most likely free, sometimes you gotta pay for plugins. Um, but, you know, while I'm on the topic, I know I just kinda keep going on here, I just, there's so many great things I can show you about this, but you know, you can go to uh, Code Canyon check this out. This is where you can just find really cool little bits of software. Be careful because you can spend some serious money here. Uh, I, I do. <laughs> and I'm going to probably feature a lot of stuff here, but look at this. Under WordPress, let's say you want um, widgets. Okay, we got all sorts of widgets you can look for. They're like 12 bucks, 16 bucks. All sorts of, and some of these stuff, that, that like these aren't free. A lot of these, these add-ons here aren't free, but they're they're really good. They're great. You know, check the reviews. These, you know, this is uh, Code Canyon's great. It's part of Theme Force and all that. Uh, you know, some of them. This doesn't have a review. It shows you the number of purchases. You get a lot of information about the actual product before. So, um, you know, if if you can't find it in Google and there's nothing free, you might come over to Code Canyon and see if there is uh, something there for sale for a reasonable price.